Hello again party people, and welcome back to my channel. In this worldwide award winning video, I will prove that hero Nicole Kessinger did not Google search Shannon in September 2017, as the discovery mistakenly claims. Weld County Record Supervisor Amanda Purcell already said that Nicole Kessinger's September 2017 search was a typo. But of course, this isn't good enough for the fake crime channels and for the clueless people who subscribe to those fake crime channels. No, the subscribers on those fake crime channels think only they know the truth, and they say Amanda Purcell is lying to protect Kessinger. However, as I've already proven in previous videos, the fake crime channels and their subscribers can never manage to get anything right. This video that you're about to watch is a four-way collab that started when OG Girl sent me this image of Nicole Kessinger. OG Girl did not provide me with any background information regarding the image, which I then used for a thumbnail on one of my videos. Then, Real Girl 1 saw my video with a Kessinger thumbnail, and she sent me the backstory regarding the Kessinger image. Then, Bond Girl added more information, and here we are, my first ever collab video. Obviously, as king of the case, I already knew things about this case, and after Real Girl 1 told me the backstory about the image, I managed to figure out why Kessinger Google searched Chris Watts on August 3rd, 2017. Shannon and Chris moved into their new house on May 4th. 2013. In July of 2013, Shannon left Longmont Ford and was hired at the Children's Hospital. Shannon's first work shift at the hospital was on July 11, 2013. Shannon started using, then selling, Thrive in January 2016. You know, long story short, I've been thriving now since January, um, the end of January. So Shannon bought her Lexus on July 29, 2016. Shannon and Chris then went away on their first Thrive Lifestyle getaway to New Orleans in October 2016. Christina, what are you excited hey about? I'm just super excited to be here. First time in, you know, in a lifestyle getaway. That's amazing in just a few months of, you know, promoting for them. So this company is awesome and I can't wait to meet so many people. Excited about? I'm just excited about being here for the first time and seeing what the future holds. It's going to be an exciting night. First timers! Woo! Shannon quit working at the Children's Hospital on April 8, 2017, because she was selling Thrive full time. On October 11, 2015, the Denver Broncos launched their inaugural Health and Wellness 45 Day Fitness Challenge. This event was sponsored by the children's hospital that Shannon worked for. It was also sponsored by the gym that Nicole Kessinger attended, 24-hour fitness. Since Chris was into football, I'm sure Shannon would have told Chris about this football event that her employer was sponsoring, and it's possible Chris and Shannon attended the event. Shannon worked at the hospital from 2013 until 2017. On October 6, 2016, the Broncos held their fourth or fifth 45-day fitness challenge. October 6, 2016 is the same day that Shannon and Chris flew to New Orleans for Shannon's first lifestyle thrive getaway. Meanwhile, on the same day, October 6, Nicole Kessinger was featured in the thumbnail of the video for the Broncos Health and Wellness 45-Day Fitness Challenge. I did a video a few years ago about Kessinger's gym in Broomfield closing. Some people think Chris met Kessinger at the gym, but this is incorrect. These people say that Chris joined the gym 
because Frank and Sandy were living in Chris's basement, so Chris could not work out in the basement. This might be true, but there is no chance Chris would join a gym in Broomfield when there are several gyms in Frederick. Frederick did not have a 24-hour fitness gym, so if Chris did join a gym, it wasn't the same gym as Kessinger. Furthermore, Nick Thayer said that Chris was working out at the recreation center, which was just down the street from Chris's house. Kessinger told FBI Mark that she never knew or met Chris before they met at work in 2018. The discovery shows that Kessinger Googled search Chris in August 2017. So how would Kessinger know about Chris before she met him at work? The reason Kessinger Google searched Chris on August 3, 2017 was because Shannon had saved the 2016 Broncos 45-day fitness challenge video that her hospital employer sponsored and that Kessinger was the thumbnail on. This video was in Shannon's playlist on her YouTube channel, a channel that was titled Shannon King. The video was only removed from Shannon's playlist after Shannon died, and, after Real Girl 1, brought it to other people's attention. Real Girl 1 was the first person to find this video on Shannon's channel. And Real Girl 1 talked, on Instagram, about finding the video on Shannon's YouTube channel. Other people saw what Real Girl 1 said, and a few other people have since made videos about Kessinger's thumbnail pic or have commented about Kessinger's thumbnail. So, on August 3rd, 2017, Kessinger Google searched the Broncos video that had Kessinger as a thumbnail. Kessinger's search results showed a link to Shannon's YouTube playlist, because Shannon had saved the video. Kessinger then checked out Shannon's channel videos, and Kessinger saw Chris in Shannon's videos. So Kessinger Google searched Chris's name. How simple. It's so simple it's stupid. This is why Kessinger Google searched Chris what's name in August 2017. Kessinger told the FBI that she did not know and never met Chris before. And, once again, Kessinger was telling the truth. And at no time did Kessinger Google search Shannon in September 2017. As Record Supervisor Amanda Purcell correctly said, that was a typo in the discovery. And it was a typo, just like Purcell said, and, despite what mistake Happy D.A. Rourke or Behind Criminal Minds incorrectly say, as you can see, each item in the discovery has a timeline entry number. The letters TL stand for timeline. The timeline entry number on the alleged September 1st, 2017 search is 2290. In January 2018, Kessinger once again searched for the Bronco video that had her as the thumbnail. Once again, Shannon's saved Bronco video showed up in Kessinger's search results. Kessinger then Google searched Shannon what's name in January 2018. And this is why Kessinger searched Shannon's name in January 2018 and before Kessinger met Chris in June 2018. The January 2018 Google search in the Discovery has the same timeline entry number. 2290 as the September 1st, 2017 search. Therefore, the September 1st, 2017 search is a typo, just like Record Supervisor Amanda Purcell said. This is further proven by CBI Detective Darren Ford's report, which only lists the Chris Watt search in August 2017 and the Shannon Watt search in January 2018. Darren did the forensic search of all phones, and nowhere does Darren Ford say Kessinger Google searched Shannon Watts on September 1st, 2017, because Kessinger never did. So once again, the fake crime channels, 
and their brain-dead subscribers just can't manage to get anything right. And neither can D.A. Rourke. So maybe record supervisor, Amanda Purcell, should just refer all future inquiries to my channel, instead of sending them to D.A. Rourke, who doesn't really seem to know much at all about this case. So there you have it, party people, my first ever collab video. Three girls, one guy. Good work, ladies. Now watch this, and I'll see you in my next worldwide award-winning video.